You're not afraid about death? No. In fact, I almost feel good at the approach of death. Why? You have a nice wife. All that's okay. But you see, as you live many years, things take on a repeat. Is that ended? Are you ended? No, no, it's okay. It's things okay. take on a repeat. You understand? You keep seeing the same thing over and over again. Mm. The same substance, the same action, the same reaction. So you get a little bit tired of life. So as death comes, you almost say, okay, baby, it's time, it's good. So I know I have very little fear of death. Mm. In fact, I almost welcome it. Did you ever read uh, Malcolm Lowry's Under the Volcano? Yeah, I did, and I yawned myself to shit. Why? Why? Because, like any other writer, there's no pace, there's no quickness in his lines. There's no life, there's no sunlight. When you write, your words must go like this. Mm. Bim, 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 bim. Each line must be full of a delicious little juice flavor. They must be full of power. They must make you like to turn a page. Bim, bim, bim. What these guys do, they say, well, in uh, blah, 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 da, 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 there was a porch chair. The flies were walking around. You see, they're too leisurely. They're setting up the scene for the grand emotion. And when they get to the grand emotion, there isn't any. Mm. This is a different age, it's the atomic age. Each line must have its own power, its own feeling, its own juice, its own flavor. Writing must never be boring. It must not bore the reader, the writer. It must not bore anybody. You have to have juice in each line, don't you see? You don't believe me, but I'm trying to tell you. I get so... Writers put me to sleep. They always did. They always mm -hmm. will. Each line must be an entity unto itself. Mm -hmm. but must carry its own, like a voltage juice. You can't say, Mrs. McGillicuddy was sitting in her chair. It was 3.30 p.m. on a southern morning in Georgia. Mr. McGillicuddy was... This is all, mm. it's already dead, you see. You must say, the thing, the thing. Mm. But he died from alcohol, you're not afraid of... Oh, you're uh, thinking of Faulkner? Uh, no. He was I'm one not. of the worst practitioners. Yeah, uh, of course, but now I'm talking about uh, Lowry. He died from alcohol, oh, you're not Lowry. afraid of... Oh, yeah. Well, it's nice to die of alcoholism, it's very glorious. But if you write dull shit, it doesn't do any good what you die from. You see, Al alcohol is not a great thing because you die from alcohol doesn't mean you're any good. You gotta leave some words behind. He died swallowing his own vomit. Great. Now he's not even a professional drunk. When I really have a big drunk, I put my head on the side of the mattress and let it like this, so if I vomit, it's just gonna go to the floor. This man's not even a fucking professional drunk. Besides that, it's bad, dull writing. Next question. For Christ's sake, do you have another question? Drink some more scotch, <laughs> motherfucker. It'll cheer you up. Enjoy yourself, man. Forget there's an interview. I like you as a person, by the way. My buddy, the Dutch interviewer of Belgium. We're tough men together through the horrors of life.